Okay, that was scary. So uh, we're taking this. I we're taking this. Throw it. Get the pillow. Get the pillow. Get the pillow. Now we gotta make a comfortable place. There we go. Get out of here, blanket. I am minions. Okay. Ooh, what are you watching? Nothing. Nothing. Ha! Ah, <laughs> uh, he didn't even deserve that, okay? Yeah. <laughs> focus. Ha! What? Can you focus this? Yeah, you can. Come on, Luigi. Yeah, let's, let's fucking go. And hopefully, this won't be as bad. Fifteen, bitches! Regular show. Huh? I can fix this. Regular show? This last episode is more of an uncut version of the original. But, nonetheless, it's much more gory and intense. Hmm. The creator show, J.G. Quintal, invited his friends over to watch the screening of the new episode. I can fix this. Everything played out normal until it got up to the freezer scene where the protagonist, Mordecai and Rigby, get locked inside the park freezer. Yeah, I've seen that episode. Okay. Situation and started attacking him. The duo ended up in a scuffle, and in one scene, it showed Mordecai strangling Rigby in a realistic fashion. Whoa. What's more, for a cartoon, blood was shown in the scene, and okay. in another, Mordecai was gaining satisfaction in torturing Rigby. Huh. The episode ends when Mordecai kills Rigby. Oh. And simply smiles to himself. Oh. <laughs> well, that was short. Are you mad? Yes, I'm fucking mad. Ah, real monsters. Final scare. Ah, real monsters is an American animated television series about adolescent monsters. I don't even trick. fucking care about this shit anymore. And featured three monsters: Ickus, Obelina, and Crumb. I've never seen this show before, but this looks kind of interesting. You think so? Yeah. Ooh, lips. An article explained how one version of the show was filmed on a VHS tape. I saw eyes. Go back and pause and view it in slow motion. Yeah, do that. Inside the Monster Academy, the grumble was seen telling Ickis, Obelina, and Crumb, and Zimbo that tonight the four of them would team up. Form one final scare. Okay. In the next scene, Chrome was thrown under a bus by Obelina, where he is killed instantly. Oh. Ickis crept up behind a mime and dug his claws into a man's skull. Oh god. The mime fell backwards onto Ickis, killing him. Oh. Zimbo chokes a woman to death, but is stuck inside her throat, and a young boy begins beating himself on the sidewalk. Oh. The scene then changes back to the Monster Academy, where the Grumble starts congratulating Opalina on her success by oh. killing the humans and tricking the others to suicide, uh -huh. while stating it was the best scare he's seen in decades. Luigi, wake up! The episode ends. Luigi, oh my god, he passed out! Get out of here! Ah, 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 goofy Goober! What? Suicide mouse. Again? Are you serious? Honestly, nothing What's is more disturbing, mouse? You'll see. Messed up, okay. And creepy than this lost episode based on the popular Disney character Mickey Mouse. Now, we have covered this one a number of times on our top 22 non-gaming creepy pastas. You should totally check it out the non-gaming creepy pasta. Just that pasta. Suicide Mouse starts off with Mickey walking from left to right down a repeated street. What in street. the world? carries on for a bit until the sound cuts out and the video starts to get distorted. Eventually, oh. you hear disjointed screams. They sound female. And this carries on until you hit oh. the end credits where you see the happy, well-known mouse. Now, the legend goes that the original Suicide Mouse was discovered by a higher-up Disney executive. Once he watched it, he killed himself. Suicide Mouse, know your meme. It, it, this is Suicide Mouse. Scopes. Sure com. Suicide, what is Suicide Mouse? Answers. Com. I should go there. We 
do know that watching I should definitely go to that website. Yeah, you should. Depression, nausea, and a very deep I'm ready, fear. depression. Dread. Dread. Of course. I did not do that. Ah, right, whatever. It's level to 12. Stick Stickly. Who's that? Stick Stickly. I don't even know. A fictional character created by Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon SpongeBob SquarePants. He's a popsicle stick okay. with googly eyes, a jelly bean nose, okay. and a small mouth. Alright. He was the host of Nick in the <laughs> Afternoon, a programming block on the network that aired summers from 1995 to 1998 on weekday afternoons. Weekday? There were six videos on a Stick Stickly website called okay. First Ever Stick Stickly Appearance. Okay. The first began with Stickly what? in front of a chalkboard. That's weird! He had no nose, and his mouth was straight. Oh, I'm bored. He proceeded to make... Did he just fucking talk? No, he did not. The episode ended. I must the have second visions. was called Stick Gets Injured. His face was the same as before, oh. and he had a few splinters sticking out his side. The yeah, third was my hands is hurting. Hang stick. Stickly was hanging in the air by a piece of string tied around his waist. What? A little boy was playing a game of hangman. Hangman. And every time he got a letter wrong, the string would move higher. The game mm. was over when the string reached Stickly's neck. Okay. The fourth video was called. I see it's very com Quits. uncomfortable. He was complaining that no one cared about him and that he was treated like a toothpick. Oh. Then a little child appeared and told him that everyone loved him. Okay. So he decided to stay. Oh. The fifth video was marked Stick Gets Mad. Oh shit. This episode had no sound, but it showed. Stickly was shouting at a little girl who was hiding from him. And eventually, she left. Okay. The sixth episode was called The Winner Revealed. Okay. Stickly had a dark red stain on the top of his head. I focused the video. One Good job. His eyes was an X. Stickly announced that the viewers voted for Candle Cove. Candle Cove? Are you in love with Candle Cove? Jesus, what's that? Don't find out. I think it's in this one. Rugrats. Chucky's mom. Chucky's mom. Rugrats is an animated TV series for Nickelodeon. Oh. The show focuses on a group I've of seen that show when I was little. A little plumber. Good old memories. And their day to day yeah. lives. Usually involving common life experiences that become adventures in the baby's imaginations. Adults in the series are almost always unaware of what the children get up to. Okay. However, this only provides more room for the babies to explore and discover their surroundings. Wow. Now, during the height of popularity, there was an adult version put to the test. Due to the disturbing nature of the pilot episode, it was never aired, but it was shown around the school. Oh. Time. Until one morning, the adult pilot episode was mistaken for a normal episode. Okay. This episode featured Chucky standing next to his dying mother while she sang My Only Sunshine. The scene cuts to a live-action chicken getting his head cut off, said to symphonize death by the audience. Hmm. Chucky cries and screams. Oh! Whatever. The scene I made that scream. Chucky's dad crying. Hospital waiting room. Hmm. And then back to Chucky waking up to the paramedics trying to revive him. We later find out that whatever condition that Chucky's mom had, oh. she had inherently passed it on to him as well. <sighs> the final scene shows Chucky's dad crying over the body of his oh. now dead son. The Grok! Shit! Did he became. He became the Grok! Is that how he turned into the Grok? Oh, shit! We gotta run! Ah! Oh, Jesus Christ, what do I do now?